Welcome YouTube to another episode of Fat Guys Barbecue. Uh, this time we're cranking up the difficulty. Thanksgiving's around the corner. I want to show you, we'll have a couple different recipes on how to do a turkey. My turn's first. We're going to do what my family's always done. This is a traditional Spanish turkey. So what we're going to need is lots of time because this is time consuming. You're going to need garlic, black pepper, whole, I don't know if you can see that in there. Dried oregano. Some olive oil. Some salt. A mortar and pestle. Measuring spoons and some vinegar. I've already put mine up. So this recipe, I'll post it uh, at, the, at the very end of the episode. But you're going to need... It's... it's measured out by pound per turkey so you'll want to change this depending on how many pounds your turkey is the turkey we're doing is going to be 10 pounds so my turkey is going to take 10 garlic cloves throw them in the mortar and pestle let's change this view up you're going to have 10 10 of those in the mortar and pestle now i got to look at my recipe i've already forgot it off the top of my head you're going to need one peppercorn per pound. So in my case, it's going to be 10 peppercorns in here. Then we're going to need a quarter teaspoon of whole dried oregano. Again, this is per pound. So a quarter whole oregano per pound. So we're going to do that. And then you're going to need one teaspoon of salt per pound i'm using pink salt don't ask me why it was the first thing i grabbed so this is going to be a salt heavy recipe but again you're scattering it over top of a whole bird so 10 teaspoons of that you're going to go one teaspoon of olive oil per pound so another 10 teaspoons of that and then a half a teaspoon of vinegar per pound uh, again we're doing 10 pounds so you'll just calculate it all up Mortars and pe mortar and pestles, you could probably use a blender or a grinder. I've, I don't know. I've already made my recipe because it takes some time. The seasoning with a little bit of movie magic. It's going to turn into this goop. Now, mine looks pink because of the pink salt. Again, this is salt heavy. Uh, it has very, very aromatic. Um, this makes me excited. Uh, tips on um, if you get a mortar and pestle these are great all you do is you put your stuff in there in the bottom and you just stick it in there and you're crushing it up okay that's all you've got to do so after you stick all those in there per your per pound for however big of a turkey you're doing you mix it up and I bring it out and stick it in another bowl to make it easier for the next step the next step is going to be us putting the seasoning on the bird you're going to want to let it sit you want to watch your your turkey completely defrosted and then after you put your seasoning on there you want to sit for at least 12 hours before you start to cook uh this one is going to end up being setting for a little over 24 hours uh it's just going to give it a really good flavor so i'll be back here momentarily i got to get my bird out and get all the the stuff out of it and then we'll show you what to do next and we're back here's our bird like i said it's a 10 pounder these little aluminum trays are really great to work on if you pick one that's big enough i thought the ones i had in in storage were going to be big enough but this turkey's a little bit bigger than what i thought it was so all you're going to do is take that paste you've made in your mortar and pestle after you, you're going to wash wash off your or rinse off your turkey because they do brine these beforehand so go ahead and rinse it off and pat it dry and then after that's done take you a big handful of this stuff you've made and the one time we're actually going to use it as a rub and rub it in you want to get it to in there to just rub it all in and go pretty heavy And we're going to use everything that we made on this one bird. So I'm not worried about cross-contamination 
Hence why I'm sticking my hand right back into the thing. So again, you're gonna go heavy, rub that on there. After you get your outside good and coated, then go ahead and do the inside and then get under the skin the best you can. So I wanna rub this in there real good. Give this turkey a last massage before it sets up to go in the smoker tomorrow. So I'll be back with you here in a little bit after I get done seasoning this up. All right, we're back. A um, few things I forgot to mention. Get your inner serial killer going on. Put you some cuts down in the turkey so that way you can jam it full of that spice. As you can see, this is the back side from where I ended the last snip on. But it's all covered. It smells really daggum good. Make sure you wash your hands real good before you start turkey, using this turkey and afterwards. All you're going to do now is wrap it up in some tin foil and then let it sit, you know, for a good while. The, the longer it sits, the, the better flavor it's going to have. And then whenever Sunday rolls around, a filming day this will be all on friday for you all uh we're gonna head over to jasper's house stick this bad boy on the smoker and he'll take over the rest of the video all right guys we're back uh just a second ago you saw us in my kitchen seasoning this turkey up a big old 10 pounder we got going on here we're getting ready to stick her on the egg the egg sitting at 300 degrees we're gonna cook it to the appropriate internal temperature a lot of people ask me whenever I'm cooking stuff, well, how long does it take you to do this? Well, the meat tells me how long it takes. I never give, oh, it's only going to take four hours. Oh, it's only going to take 30 minutes. Because you never know. Different meats, even if it's the same meat, different cows cook at different temperatures, different turkeys cook at different times. So always cook to your internal temperature. Jacob, yep. the internal temperature that our turkey come with, do you trust it? I use it as a checkpoint. Whenever it says it's good, that means I should pop my probe out and double check. I don't trust these things because it's a piece of plastic. Do you explain the science to me in a way that makes sense? I'll tell you I trust it, but I'm still going to probe it just in case. I have the probe. It takes two extra seconds to do. I'd rather waste two extra seconds and it be done for sure than get salmonella. Wouldn't you, Jasper? I would. So, we seasoned it up. You can see... You let your inner serial killer go loose with those stab spots to stuff seasoning down in there. It's set over a little, well, it's set over there for a, a day and a half. So it's good and seasoned. Make sure you season the inside. Now, normally, whenever you cook a whole turkey, you cook with stuffing inside of it. I ain't giving away my family's stuffing recipe because Jacob will no longer be alive. If that happens, my dad will drive up here from Florida. So because we're not putting the stuff in it we'll have to watch it to make sure it doesn't dry out um it shouldn't in this case because it's it's well seasoned with that with what we make so we're gonna move over here to the the green egg now take this big old bird stick her on there then close your lid watch your temps maintain your temperature 300 degrees and let her rip tater chip to your internal tips where you need it to be what do you think an hour was i mean just i'm guessing three maybe four three and a half hours that's at 300 at degrees. 300 degrees but again that's just a, a guess we're going to cook till the probes that's it so we'll see here in a little bit whenever we check on it maybe 45 minutes to an hour and see ya all right youtube we've been going a little over an hour on our smoked turkey spanish style spanish style here we are guys we're gonna see what it looks like you wanna see let's look jacob this is your bird i'm doing the camera effects you, you. That skin's got a nice color to it. Jacob, this is yours. What do you think? It's a looking good. 
As it don't need basting right now, it's still pretty juicy. We've got a good color on its skin. Did you notice that the temperature gauge hadn't popped up on the birds yet? So we're gonna let it roll just a little while longer, probably another hour before we even stick it with a probe to see where we're at. And then we'll go from there. When you're probing your turkeys, you're on 180 in the thighs, 170 in the breasts. We'll pull it somewhere in the 160, 165. And you gotta remember, this is gonna be reheated. And so it'll heat up again. It's gonna have some carryover temperature too. So that carryover temperature. So, so cutting, when, it, it's cutting it a little so it's not gonna hurt you. 170, 175 in the thighs, 160, you're gonna be fine because you're gonna have a lot of carryover temperature that you don't read it completely. So we'll check in about an hour. All right, YouTube, it's been an hour since we checked on it. We're back with the turkey, the Spanish turkey, Jacob's Spanish turkey. That you've seen him season his La Casa. You've seen us go in the egg. Told you we're gonna try to maintain 300. Jacob, you're gonna get a shot at this temperature grease focus in there good right at 300. Right at 300 it's been there the entire time so here we are we're gonna lift it up and we'll check it out remember we're gonna probe it especially if that we're gonna probe it either way but we're gonna if that thermometer is popped up on the bird that that the bird the company that packaged the bird if it's popped up, we're definitely going to look, but we're going to look both ways and see what it looks like. Here we go. Mmm, Jasper. Look how pretty that thing is. Look at the juices running down all the, where you've po injected it and running clear. We can see that the plastic thermometer that butterball i don't know if this is a butterball i don't even remember is known to put in it's not showing the temperature yet but let's see what we show inside the breast one forty seven so we're getting close let's check the thigh down here we're getting real close there 165 166 seeing 167 for a few minutes for a few seconds so we're getting close we're still not quite there yet however we're getting there we're going to close this lid back down we're going to go 30 minutes and go from there see you in 30 minutes youtube all right youtube we've been back been a little over 30 minutes now we had to take another item off another cooker so we'll give us just a few more minutes here we go what do you think jacob that looks beautiful once again the plastic thermometer 161 in the middle of the breast One seventy-five in the thigh. One seventy-four. So we're in the one seventies. I'm gonna call that done. With your residual heat that carries it up. With the, uh, the carryover, it's gonna be done. We're gonna pull it out here. Jacob's gonna get the honor of pulling this and out. This is his bird. His recipe. Jacob, let me get you a pan. Let me get you a pan. Guys, we're back with this turkey. Jacob, I have to tell you what he done. Jacob. Jacob's the man. Once again, we, we told you about these plastic thermometers. You've seen we're at 160. Much more than it would burn. 
dry out. Look how look this leg, this wing. It's 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 gonna come apart. <laughs> All right, you ready, Jasper? I'm ready. I've got this pan holding pretty good here. Make sure you don't get burnt. Be careful when you pick that thing up. It might come apart, Jacob. It's gonna be tender. All right. Look at that. All right, YouTube, we'll come back. We'll give this turkey five, 10 minutes to rest. We're actually not gonna eat this whole turkey. We're gonna cut it, a piece of it off and sample, sample it for the video tonight. However, this turkey is actually going to go to the 911 dispatchers and 911 that works tomorrow. Shout out to Shift One. Shout Woo! out to Shift One. We love Shift One. Kind of, kind of biased to that shift. Just a little bit. I'm kind of biased. Sorry, guys. Um, Jacob, you want to come in here and tell us what you done? Yeah, I will. Let me. Come let's on just here. reposition the camera too. Get this turkey in the shot. All right, guys, so we seasoned it. Spanish style turkey, uh, salt, pepper, vinegar, oregano. Your pepper was actually whole peppercorns. Um, did I say vinegar? I don't believe I don't you think I did. So we put all that in our mortar and pestle, grinded it up. You wanna grind it up a little bit at a time. Don't try to make the whole thing because the measurements that we gave you were per pound. So, made that in the mortar and pestle, then poked holes in our turkey so that way we could get it down the end of the meat, rubbed it all over the surface skin, down into those holes, all over top to bottom, left to right. I made sure to take out all the gizzards and hearts and all that from the inside. You don't want to leave that in there. Uh, normally, you put a stuffing in it while it cooks. Unlike Jasper giving away his baked bean recipe, I die if I give away the, the stuffing recipe. So that ain't that ain't going. Uh, after that, put it on a big green egg at 300 for, so what time is it now, Jasper? Seven o'clock. We had it on there, what, about three? About three. So, you know, four hours. Yeah, four hours. Hey, we timed that pretty good because that's what we were guessing. So four yeah. hours, pulled it out. At 180, your thighs are done. At 170, your breast. We pulled it out a little early because your holdover temperatures will raise the internal temperature of the of the meat. Uh, but we didn't pull it out super early. It was, you know, one, 175 in the thighs, 165 in the breast. You know, right there at it. Five degrees is not that big of a as it a pullover. Won't hurt you there either. Uh, so now we're just gonna let it rest and cool down. Man, that skin looks amazing. How crispy is it, Jack? It. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I'm excited about this. Uh, well, I'm, my family's made this every year for Thanksgiving and Christmas. We've never done it in the smoker. So here's our, ch here's our chance. So we'll come back after this has cooled down a little bit and rested. We'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. We're ready for our maiden voyage of the taste test. So we're gonna cut right in here I'm gonna go ahead and split the center of this breast mm, can you hear that skin as you cut it I can Jacob mm. <laughs> there you go Jasper there's you a piece it is still hot be careful Pretty good. That's pretty good. Jasper, what do you think? That is excellent. <laughs> so guys, we're also gonna do a different video of a traditional non-Spanish turkey. So that way, if you don't like the spices that we use on this one, there definitely will be a different take. Cause I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea. So stay tuned. If you don't like Spanish turkey, we'll have a it's gonna be apple, it's gonna have an apple cider. There you go. Apple cider, not an apple vinegar, but apple cider, apple, rosemary, more traditional. It'll be brined, 
instead of marinate it will be brined in a browner bucket for it'll be an hour per pound of turkey it is but we'll do that within the next couple of weeks too also you'll see that but we'll do that but this is jacob's rendering the spanish style turkey i'm impressed and it turned out awesome that was it was moist it was very it was, really moist. it was very good it wasn't dried out i was a little worried because we didn't have a stuffing in it because that'll dry out the turkey really quick i like it once again guys if you know a family that's in need for thanksgiving send us a, a private message give email. us their name you know our emails fatguysbbq at gmail.com or we're on facebook fat guys barbecue you know just private message us Tell us that family story. What's going on? We want to pick a needy family. Me and Jasper have been blessed. We want to bless somebody else's family. So, once again, thank you for watching. Fat Guys, Fat guys Barbecue. barbecue.